by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for Dead or Alive 5, the last round or something it's called. Um, it's just a demo, but there's a couple of characters unlocked. Well, there was for me anyway, but by the looks of it, you only get two characters. I think it's because ages ago I downloaded them in the, um, in the PlayStation Store, so I ended up getting them on here, but I just picked the bloke because it was Lanny Blanky there, so I thought I'll just pick him. But I've never really liked Dead or Alive, it's shit. Not when there's games like Mortal Kombat kicking about. This is just horrendous. It's, it feels like it was made for the Sega Saturn or like something shit. You know, like, I don't understand why whoever's making this game, they think this could be the finished product or like this is what people want. Maybe. I mean, it's pure chinkified, like me and my friends are uh, chinkified, like it's it's like manga, Japanese kind of, um, you know, it's like, look, I mean, look at the animations and that, look at the style, the drawings, the moves are shit, like triangles punch, in like any direction does different combos and stuff, circles you kick button, X is grab, squares a counter, um, R2 and R1 is your strong kick and your strong punch. L1 is a, I think that's um, your grabs and thingy, they're like power buttons, like arcade buttons basically. Um, it's shit, it's so easy. Like you just, it's about timing, I mean most, um, most fighting games are all about timing. But when you're playing something like this, it just think, it feels about 10 or 15 years, like out of date even though the graphics I suppose are quite good and um, the backgrounds and the scenery and shit that's our right. but it's just the fact that the fighting is just so crap it's not when you're playing like I keep referring to Mortal Kombat but I think it's because I have Mortal Kombat um, 10 I've got the XL so it's got all the DLCs but just playing that there's blood there's, um, you know, there's uh, obviously the X-ray moves. There's you can interact with the scenery. I know you can on this because on one of the fights, uh, I was kicking some wifey and she went through the fence and like fell off the edge of the building and we went jumped down to the next area, and then we were fighting and it happened again and we jumped down to the street. <coughs> but um, so that's quite good. But like I say, I couldn't imagine like me and my friend wanting to like sit and play this like for ages because it's just like I say it just feels so out of date um, but I don't know I mean there's a lot of people who like I mean look all the little girls look about 10 year old and they've all got massive tits you know what I mean it's just pure it's for a Japanese market it's like it, ha it doesn't really translate over here I think that um, the style of gaming is it's very arcadey very like button tapping you know it's there's no the only skill uh, basically is like remembering like what button to press and when or being able to press the button faster than you the whoever's playing um i don't know uh, maybe i'm just creating negatives but there might be people who really really like it um i mean i was i absolutely flew through i was trying to get the you press square to get the the um what they called the reversal if you, as they're attacking, you press square and it grabs them and does like a reversal. But like the buttons aren't very ranged. I mean, look at the amount of buttons you've got when it comes to Mortal Kombat or even other fighting games. The combos, the absolute, like I was trying square square triangle, I was trying X circle and shit like that. But like I say, you've only got two buttons. You've got punch and kick, grab or reverse, like reversal. They're your buttons. So it's not very in depth. Like, I don't know, I'm just giving it a negative review because it's not my kind of game. It's for kids. I mean, you could give, like, say, I don't know, like, your little brother or, you know what I mean, your little sister or someone, give them this to play because all they do, we've got to press two buttons, just tell them. Triangles punch and circles kick, that's all you need now. And I think you hold back. I think you just push back to, um, to block. But it's all about just, 
by pressing the button really fast. So it's free on the PlayStation Plus. Go and get it if you think it's good. That's it. See you there. You are a smelly pirate hooker.